finished processing line. Onions aren't easy to peel, even when you're cooking at home. So of course, if you need to peel them for industrial needs, specialized equipment is used. The machine you see on the screen is produced by the Dutch company Finis. This is a processing line for vegetables, covering the whole process all the way to the final packaging. Each onion is processed many times. At first, the forklift puts the onion box on a special platform, which flips it and sends the vegetables over a conveyor belt. In order for each onion to be peeled, the machine must cut off its root. That's why the vegetables are separated from each other and sent for peeling in separate cells. Note how the equipment then also turns each vegetable over so it faces the blade with its backside. Only after that, the onion is peeled. The equipment removes the skin and then finally cuts the vegetables. The last task performed by the processing line is packing the onions. It's noteworthy that the size of the sliced pieces is adjustable. The displayed equipment is also capable of processing carrots, potatoes, beetroots, peppers and some other vegetables. IMS Forming Machine Before you start baking, you need to make the dough. The machine you're seeing right now is designed for this purpose, especially for cooking dumplings and other similar dishes. This unit manufactures a ready-made product, and the quality doesn't differ from that of homemade dishes. The video shows the work of the production equipment paired with a special rotating table. It allows to make production more autonomous and spares operators from the need for careful control. Surprisingly, this machine produces up to 90 kilograms of dumplings per hour, making from 80 to 120 pieces every minute. Fritch Easy Line If you've ever wondered how pastry products such as strudels and stuffed buns are made on a production scale, you're about to get your answer. This is a processing line from the German company Fritch. It can cut, fold, twist, fill and punch dough. That's why it can be used to create more than 10 different pastry products, from pretzels to rolls. The machine is designed for the needs of small and medium-sized bakeries. There's minimal involvement of the operators in the process. They only carry out the maintenance such as cleaning, as well as the supply of raw materials and the assembly of the finished product. Sawmac Line This line of equipment is designed for processing large quantities of lettuce. The video shows how the cut, washed product, which can be found in almost any store, is made. First, the lettuce is put on the conveyor belt. Workers manually separate the leaves from the stem with a knife, but leaf shredding, which is a more demanding task, is done by the machines. The next step is to rinse the lettuce thoroughly in water. At this stage, leaves that are unsuitable for further processes are also removed. It's very important that every leaf is thoroughly cleaned, and that's why they're washed twice. Wet leaves cannot be packaged, as they're more likely to rot. For this reason, the leaves are then placed on a vibrating conveyor belt, which shakes off excess water from the product. But that's not the end of it. In addition, moisture is removed by this centrifuge. Only after that can the leaves be sent to the shops. 
The production line consists of a total of seven separate types of equipment. Together, they're able to process 500 to 800 kilograms of lettuce per hour. Textor Machinery Sliced ham and cheese aren't made by hand, but by a very advanced piece of equipment, like these machines from the German company Textor. The manufacturer offers about 10 different models. What you see now on the screen is the working process of one of them. For example, the models the TS500 and TS700 work in a similar way, but have different powers and blade sizes. Both machines are designed for slicing a wide range of products, but the most important thing is that they can stack the cutting in 12 different ways, depending on the needs of the manufacturer. For example, with a small gap piled on top of each other, folded and so on. The disc cutter combines high capacity and short recharging time. The open blade design facilitates the cleaning process. Here's another equipment for slicing products. The blade cuts several types of meat simultaneously. Afterwards, they're stacked on top of each other with the smart overlapper. From here, stacks of products arrive at the smart loader. This is another conveyor belt designed for folding the product in a suitable way for packaging. This way, all the work is done by the machines. The only thing left to do is loading the raw materials into the machine on time. Pizza Processing Line the last equipment we want to show you today is used by Mickey's Whole Pizza to produce frozen pizzas. Surprisingly, in this case too, the machines perform an almost complete cycle from cooking to packing in boxes. A person is only needed at the very beginning in order to fill the round forms with dough. From here, they're sent to a conveyor belt where toppings are applied to the dough in several steps. First the tomato sauce, then the cheese is poured on top. It's ground right here. You can see in the background how the workers put entire cheese blocks in special containers. The machine can't independently track how even the cheese layer is. That's why this job is done by people. Now it's time for heat treatment. Pizza comes out of the oven with a golden brown crust and almost ready for packing. In order for the pizza to cool down, it's sent on a particularly long conveyor belt. Only after that does the packing stage begin. First, each pizza is placed on a cardboard pad. Then a layer of film is stretched over the product. As this pizza is sold frozen, it's then subjected to flash freezing. This technology makes it possible to preserve all the properties of the products as much as possible in their original form. Finally, the pizza is sent to the boxes. Interestingly, this work is also done by people, while special equipment assembles and glues the boxes. The boxes are delivered to the factory in stacks of cardboard sheets. Hey, stop being lazy, it's time to use that brain of yours. Welcome to Brain Time. Incredible facts from the past, the present, and even the future. The power of nature and wild animals. Amazing facts and unsolved mysteries. You'll find all this and much more here. Subscribe now, you won't regret it.